Yes. After we're done with the debate, do we ask, ask questions to each other? Yes. So after you finish reading your debate, then you can ask each other questions. Make sure you have all three headings as well. Vision was originally to improve the intelligibility in the classroom so that every child would hear every word. What we found over time was all children benefited from this low volume, high intelligible technology that we could put in the classroom. The AP test that you guys are going to be doing your practice on. I'm not usually able to hear if I'm in the back of the class and being able to have the microphone helps if there's people working on other projects and such. Being able to have the microphones sitting out in the flex space here like can help and we can ask her questions through that so she doesn't have to get up and leave the class. Are you stuck between two answers? I'm stuck between two answers. I have a question about one of the vocab words. Go ahead. I can hear their conversations. I can drop in. They can ask questions. It stretches out your reach and allows you especially to reach some of your kids who might be afraid to speak up in a larger context. I like to just talk to her in this so that it can kind of be like private. I'm kind of an interesting thought. And a lot of times when you walk up to a group, the group stops talking or the dynamics change completely. When you walk away from that group, it takes a lot of energy for those brains to get back on track. And with our pods, they're able to check in from afar and then they know whether they need to intervene or just back off. The rooms are quieter. The kids are much more engaged in what's going on in the classroom because they can hear and they can work in groups and then they have their teacher button push away. So it, the teachers are, are really, really loving it. 